Hi everyone, this is Renee from Meadowlark Mystic and I am doing a video in response to a question that I saw on Facebook. I think it was the tarot group for love of cards and then I think, I haven't got a chance to watch it, but I think Amber in Wonderland also did a, a video response um, to the question, which decks have Empress cards where the figure is not pregnant? And so that got me thinking about my own collection and which decks that I have um, have Empress cards that are not pregnant and actually a lot of my decks. Um, but I thought that I would just showcase some of the more kind of offbeat or unusual decks. So the first one I'm going to go through is um, the Stone Tarot. This is an independently published deck and these are the backs. It doesn't have fantastic card stock. It's, it's pretty weak, um, but I really love this deck. I hit the camera, of course. I really love this deck. So here's the Empress card. Um, I really like the luminosity in this deck, how she can make um, some of her paints glow. So the moon is glowing and her crown is glowing. And as you can see, she's not pregnant. So I really, um, I really like this deck. I'm just going to show a few cards from each deck I'm highlighting um, for this video, just, you know, in case you wanted to see a little more of the deck. So again, this is the Stone Tarot. Um, this is my, actually my favorite hangman of any deck. I love this. Well, the Japarizzi has a really awesome hangman too, but anyway, I really love this hangman. Uh, this is the Death card. Her knights in this deck are amazing. And I really like this chariot due to the elongated legs of the sphinxes. Um, it makes more sense to me that they could actually pull something and I also find it kind of funny. And then just to give you a heads up, this deck, the, the miners in this deck are rather pippish. So if you really like the art, just know that the miners are rather pippish. Um, but I really like that. So that was the Stone Tarot. That's my first deck. The second deck with an Empress that's not pregnant is the Tarot of Fire. And here she is. So not only is this Empress not, um, not pregnant, but in terms of Empress cards, this is pretty intense. Um, she's intensely creating or destroying something. I mean, her expression is definitely one of power and actually she looks a little pissed off. So this is the Tarot of Fire and let me just quickly read what it says in the book about her. This is the goddess of fire, Mahuika from New Zealand, manifesting power. So she's a very powerful goddess um, and definitely not looking pregnant. So um, this deck, I've showcased it a couple times on my channel. This is the super hilarious fool card and this is the magician. Um, that is the tarot of fire. The next deck that I wanted to showcase is one that I've talked about a lot on my channel, and that's the Mystic Meg, and this is the deck by Caroline Smith and John Astrop. I often mispronounce his name, last name, but it's Astrop. So again, this is another deck where the miners are pips. But the Empress, oops, looks like this. So as you can see, She's a more regal empress. I guess she may or may not be pregnant, but to my eye, she, she doesn't uh, look pregnant. She just looks like, um, you know, that's where her manifestation of power is. So I'll just show, show a few cards from this deck. Again, this is the Mystic Mag. I have added color to this deck. And pupils <laughs> to the some of the cards to the the court cards uh, for some reason they didn't have pupils uh, and then this card I added a lot of color to this world card so that is the mystic mag 
tarot. And that is another deck where the Empress card is not pregnant. The next deck that I'm going to look at is Psychic Tarot for the Heart. I really love this deck. It's not a, it's not a traditional tarot deck. It does not have quartz, and it does not have uh, the number 10 in the suit. But here is the beautiful Empress card. And again, she is not pregnant. And then I'll just show some of the other cards um, in this deck. This is a good example of a deck that I had a pretty big aversion to when I first saw it. Um, did not like it. I even thought it was, you know, really cheesy. And now I absolutely love it. Um, <laughs> I, I do tend to change my mind sometimes. Uh, but because I've changed my mind so often, and this is a beautiful hermit. Because I've changed my mind so often, I always leave my options open um, to like decks that I say I never will. So that's Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Another deck that has a really beautiful Empress card that's not pregnant is the Napo Tarot. And these are the backs of the Napo Tarot. I had a tough time with this deck for a while. Um, I just couldn't connect with it. And I think the Thoth keywords on the miners, which I'll show you in a minute, were kind of tripping me up. But um, I, I figured out a way to work with it. So I really love this deck. It is from Chile, I believe. Or maybe it's Argentina. Shoot. Anyway, it's in the Southern Hemisphere. Um... And so you can see that, you know, these are the keywords at the top and they also have them in Spanish. So that is another beautiful deck that has a non-pregnant empress. Oh my gosh, I just kicked the camera. Another deck that I love and has a non-pregnant empress is the Connolly Tarot. Here she is. She's looking regal and um, not overly serious, but definitely thoughtful. I really enjoy this deck. It has kind of its own way of looking at things. Um, and I really like this Empress, I mean this High Priestess as well. I said before, I like how the wand suit is green. It's not usually the color I use, but for some reason it really works for me. And here's one more card, the Queen of Cups. So that's the Conley Tarot with the beautiful non-pregnant Empress. And these are cards from my um, Oracle deck that I made from existing art. Um, and I think they exemplify some of the characteristics of cards with non-pregnant Empress um, figures. I'm not averse to pregnant empress um, drawings. It's, it's totally fine, but I I find that I resonate more with um, with empress cards that are more about um, female authority. And I think I think these three really exemplify that for me. That feeling of um, feminine power. Another deck uh, that has a non-pregnant empress is the True Love Tarot. So these are the backs of the True Love Tarot, and this is the Empress card. It's um, created by the same people who did the Enchanted, oops, the Enchanted Tarot. So it's kind of um, fiber art. This is a col uh, this is a collage deck. This is a pip deck with keywords at the bottom. So if you've never seen this, oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought I would just show this deck, although all the cards are every which way. Um, this is the Fool, the Prince of Wings, we have the Challenger, and then again, the, the Miners are very pippish, but they have keywords at the bottom. 
So this is the True Love Tarot, and I really like this deck. This was a damaged deck that I kind of saved, rehabilitated. Another deck that I really love that I don't hear people talk about much, except Lena from Fire Trans, uh, Fire Trans, Fire Transformation. Sorry, Lena. Uh, is the New Century Tarot. She and I love this deck, but not a lot of other people seem to really like it. But um, they have uh, a beautiful Empress card, and I don't think she's pregnant. So really love this deck. It is rather pippish, but it has little scenes at the bottom. So I really enjoy this deck a great deal. Um, it's one of the decks, probably if I could only keep like 20 decks, this would be one of them. Which was a surprise because as I've said, I got this tarot because I couldn't get the Stella's tarot um, kind of to take its place and it doesn't, but it's a really great deck. Another deck that has a non-pregnant empress is the Truth Seekers or Wisdom Keepers. This is the back. And here's the beautiful empress. Um, you know, this has a very Marseille feel to it. Um, and I just love this deck so much. It also has rather pippish minors, although there is kind of a scene. And a scene sometimes changes and sometimes doesn't. Um, this is the Truth, Seekers, or Wisdom Keepers. It was published two different ways. I really love this deck. And I love... So here's a picture of the Emperor and Empress together. So that is that one. And the last deck I wanted to talk about was um, the Prairie Tarot. These are the backs of the Prairie Tarot. And this is the Empress card. The reason I love this Empress card so much is because she looks like a regular person. She's got black boots on, a yellow dress. She's got kind of a smirk on her face. Um, but I think it's more of like self-empowerment and self-esteem. She's a larger woman, which I really appreciate, and she's working on something, but you can tell that she's done a lot of hard work, and she's looking at this hen and her babies. So even though there is kind of the mother feeling down here, it's more like she's the protector, but not the mother of them. Um, and in any case, she's not pregnant, so I really like that aspect. And these are some more cards. There's a lot of... Um, females in this deck, which I appreciate. And again, this is the Prairie Tarot. I also like how the Emperor in this picture is, looks like a regular guy. Okay, well that's going to do it for me uh, this time. This was just a little peek into the decks that I have that have non-pregnant Empress cards. It was really fun to go through my collection and pick out the ones that I thought were more unique or people might not have seen. Um, I think that overall, pregnant um, Empress cards, it might be 50-50, but I found in my collection it actually was, there were more non-pregnant Empress cards. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!